I'm here with Kelly Bennett, who is the marketing director for Ferguson's Downtown. Hi. Super excited to introduce her to you guys and just talk about a little bit more about what Ferguson's all about. So totally. How long have you been involved with the Ferguson's project? So I've been working um, with Jen Toller, the co-founder, and our team for the last year, and I'm stoked to be here, live here, work here. Yeah. Um, and we are a city block rooted in community. So tell me about living here. So you said there's there's actually people who live here yes. behind Ferguson's, correct? Yes, there's about 36 of us living here, co-working, sharing ideas, sharing resources, and it's a really cool experience to um, live amongst creatives in this really supportive community to help you cultivate your own dreams as well and share with others. I love it. So one of my favorite things about Ferguson's and why I come down here so often is the fact that you guys support local businesses, my heart and my passion. Talk to me about the local businesses that are represented here inside Ferguson. Totally, and we definitely share that passion. This was a big initiative of Ferguson's downtown being a city block to be home to all these new small businesses. So we have the Noise Project, which is a really cool hair salon, really connecting the dots mm -hmm. with mental health and style. Awesome. And having those conversations and making it cool. That's really cool. Um, then we have Mike's Recovery. Mike um, has been a massage therapist for over 20 years and applying his knowledge of the brain and the body connection with his new um, line of salts and his tried and true products, but making new stuff in the space as well. Very cool. Then we have All For Our Country, which is a husband and wife team. They started renovating their own cabin in Henderson. And then they started a blog, started selling the furniture they were making on the blog. Got a little bit popular. Yeah, yeah. got it popular. <laughs> now they have their own store and they're curating with local makers mm -hmm. and makers within our region, cool. which is just a really cool general store vibe. I love that. Yeah, same. Um, future Makers, they curate conscious kid workshops. Oh, I love that. Yes, yeah, so a lot of our young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. are working from Future Makers. They also do workshops at Market in the Alley. They Ooh. have free kids yoga every Sunday now at 9.30 in the, in the yard. yard right? Yes, yes, here in the yard. Yes. Um, Tiny Bloom, husband and wife team, they moved here from San Diego. They saw what was happening in here in Vegas and decided to call it home. That's awesome. Yeah, and they were doing Market in the Alley and now they have their own shop. Um, Carrie Lynn's um, just open. It's a really cool plant shop. Cool. So it started as a plant swap. They were taking care of our plants and now they have their own store. Okay. And then we have Mothership Coffee, mm -hmm. um, which I've been a huge fan of for over the years. Yeah. So it's a dream come true to just have them now right here. That's awesome. Neon Vintage Cactus, which is amazing. Another incredible story. A wife team. Mm -hmm. They started doing Market in the Alley, mm -hmm. popping up every month. They they're, did. They're like upcycled vintage. Vintage, yeah, vintage so retro. they curate um, really cool, colorful, vintage clothing. I love that. Um, you can find really funky, cool accessories in there as well. And Whoa. then along with stained glass jewelry and accessories oh my God. that they make. So this is really oh, one a more. community. Oh, one more. Myron Hensel, he's a photographer and he specializes in tintype for, uh, photography. Okay. And he has camera equipment from the 1800s. So and it's, it's a total vintage vibe in there. Yeah, and it's very nostalgic. It's on photo. real silver. Oh my gosh. It's super cool. And then we have more shops to come. That's amazing. And I, I'm glad that you mentioned that. I didn't realize he had opened yet. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. I, I think that it really is representative. If you just walk through the doors of Ferguson's, this really does represent a community. You've got the hair salon, you've got the general store, you've got the flower shop. Yeah. Is that really what the purpose totally, was Totally, totally. So when Jen was curating all the shops, it was to really own the daytime, make mm -hmm. it family friendly, make it that we're part of your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Love that. Um, from getting coffee at Mothership and then having dinner at Lamonha or Hatsumi, we want this to be part of your rituals with your friends, with your family and your neighbors. That's amazing. What are you most excited about for 2020 as we move into this new year and we're getting, you know, getting this going. This is a monumental year for the city. What are you totally. most excited about? So I'm really excited to see more people, especially from the suburbs, come downtown, shop local, yep. really connect the dots of seeing the impact that they're making mm -hmm. by spending their dollars in our community mm -hmm. to build jobs, to cultivate yes. community, to diversify the economy. And doing that here in downtown Las Vegas, I think I is going it. to be a really Really cool experience. Thank you so much, Kelly. It was yeah. awesome hanging out with you today. If you can't tell, she's extremely passionate about Ferguson. Stoked to see you here. We're excited <laughs> to see you come down and visit. Thank you again so, so much. Of course. So that's it for Ferguson's. I hope you've learned a little bit something new about how to be a Las Vegas local. It is my mission to help you learn how to live your best Las Vegas life. So today, if you could do me a favor, live your best Las Vegas life, come down to Ferguson, support what these guys are doing. They've got live music, they've got awesome vintage shops, they've got really cool local makers. This is the place to be on the corner of 11th and Fremont Street. I'll see you here.